Welcome everybody. Today we're gonna I'm gonna teach you how to install mods. I'm gonna teach you how to do the barn saves, and I'm also gonna teach you how to do the building saves. So like if you pick a building, you download it or whatever, put that in the game too. So first things first, how to install mods. Okay. So you wanna open up your Steam. Go up here, right here, right click. Manage, browse local files, okay? Now you can minimize that. That gets you where you need to be, okay? Then you're gonna want to get Discord open. And we're gonna go to Modulus, which just feeds us feeds this Discord. Uh, let me make this a little bigger. Hopefully you guys can see it. Okay. So in his Discord, you're gonna see public testing. Okay, you're gonna need two of these. You're gonna need simple parts loader. So you need to download that now. And then you gotta scroll up and find where is it? Right here. It has to say v15 rc 2zip So you want to download that one. And you want to download Simple Parts Loader, which I've already downloaded them. Now, if you download it, it pops up and it's, which I don't think this one does. So let me, I've already downloaded a million times. Save, save. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay. So you should be good there. Okay, once you download those, you're fine. So you can minimize that. And if you have to stop video, just rewind it. And Many times you want, okay? Now you want to right click on your file folder here. Right click, downloads. Yep. So the first one you're gonna need, obviously I've downloaded it a million times, is the RC zip file. I got multiple. So you're gonna need either WinRAR or something to open it up, okay? WinRAR is free. Okay, so in your My Garage folder, it's right here. It says all this it should say like mods, uh, mono bleeding edge, textures. That stuff should be there. Okay, My Garage data. You want to take all this and drag it in here. Just grab it and drag it and drop it. Okay. That's it for that one. That is the hardest part. Everybody that does mods on my garage, they struggle with this part. Okay. It has to be in your my garage folder, not your commons. So my garage. Okay. Not your mods folder. Straight in. A lot of people struggle with that. Okay. Now you want to go to your simple parts loader, which I think is 1.6, I believe. I've downloaded so many of them. It's like my ninth time of retaking this. Discord. Yeah, 1.6. Okay. So it'd be this one. Simple parts loader, 1.6. Okay. Now this one you want in your mods folder. So you open up your mods. Drag this over where you can get space here. And then you just grab it. And drag it in and drop it, which I've already done it. I could do it again, don't really matter. And then obviously I have it, so it's going to tell me to replace the file. Okay. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. That's it for installing what you need to have the mods to work. Okay. So now we'll leave that open. Go back to Discord here. Now you're looking for mods. All right. I'm going to put all these descriptions to all these discords. Um, Nexix mod, which is right here. Okay. Just Google my garage mods and it'll pop up. You have to make an account. It's free. You just got, it's got, that's the only way you can download. Them. So uh, say you want this one right here, which this one says, 
I don't think this one's been updated yet. Not sure. Might have. I don't know. I haven't looked. So you come here, click manual, slow download, click the other one you have to, it will ask you to pay for it. Come up here, save, and save. Okay. So now you have your mod. Now going forward with mods and trying to figure out which ones work, which ones don't. The only thing I can tell you is to download a mod, put it in the game, try it. And if it don't work, take it back out. And that's the easiest way instead of just coming in and dumping a whole bunch of mods in your folder. Okay, let me get rid of that. All right, so refresh this. Now here's the, the Mustang, okay? All you have to do, once you zip it, take your Fox body and drag it in. That's all you gotta do. And then that mod will be installed in the game. As long as you're in the mods folder, when you put mods in the game. Now here, gotta be in your mods, okay? That is the basic way I can explain these mods, okay? Now, if they don't work, just take them out. But if it don't work, do not save your game, because if you save your game, it'll ruin it. So you wanna test the mod, do it. If it works, cool. Then you're fine, you can save. But if it doesn't work and you don't like the mod, do not save that game. Okay. Exit out without saving. Same thing with garages. If you take a mod out and you have something stored in the garage and you don't have that mod, that garage will not open. Been there a million times, lost a lot of cars that way. Okay. You just gotta be smarter at what you're doing with these mods. Some work, some don't. Right now, with this whole URP update thing, some mods work, some don't. So you, you got to try them. Okay, so, so that's that for mods. Okay. Now, for garage saves, that, I had to think about that. I was thinking either do the building or garage. We're going to do garage. Okay, so you want to. Open up your file explorer, okay? Go to your C drive. You want to go to user, your name, which mine is WePlay, okay? And then you want to go to app data. Now, if you don't see this in this folder, you want to go up to view, which I have Windows 11. If you don't have Windows 11, it should show like hidden items somewhere up in here. You click that and it allows it, okay? So I have Windows 11, go down, Click View, Show, Hidden Items. See, I don't have app data. View, Show, now I have app data. Okay, click that. <clears throat> Go to Local Low, Viking, My Garage, and here's your save files. Okay. All right, so figure out which save you're on, one, two, three, vice versa, whatever. Okay, so. Go to save five, for instance, okay? Here's the here's your barn files, okay? So if somebody sends you over a barn file, which you know, I have this right here, and somebody sends it to you, or you saved it and you put it on your desktop, whatever. If you have, you gotta, <clears throat> excuse me, you gotta be in game and figure what barn is empty. What, what number is empty, okay? Once you get an empty barn, you want to number this to that barn. So, like, this is barn one in game. This is barn two in game. Barn, it's it's one up the number. I don't know why they did that, but should just been straight down. Whatever. So don't get all mixed up with these, okay? Because if you copy this over this file and you didn't save this file, you will lose it. So if you want to save, like, you say you want to erase a barn. Okay, you just cut and then paste. Okay, now I have, I took it right out of the equation. No more barn three, okay? So now you can rename this barn three. <clears throat> oh, hold on. 
So you gotta take this one file here. Take folder. You wanna take this, but you can't name it the same thing. It'll so do you wanna copy over it? Okay. So here. Just make a new folder on your desktop. Okay, new folder. Okay, that's how you made that's how you do that. And then just put your file in there so you don't lose it. Okay. All right. Now we can rename this. Oh, I'm not used to Windows 11. I literally just upgraded. All right, so we want to name this Barn 3, okay? Now you take this and drag it in. That's all you got to do. It puts it right up in there. Okay? That's it for that. So now, say you want a barn. Um, now go back to Barnes real quick. You can do this while, while in game. Okay. So I do have a game, game open. I can't see a thing cause it's dark. Go to your garage. Okay. Y'all remember this save. Now, only thing is I have stuff saved in these barns. So you would get, see how this is zero. That's barn data, nothing. That's like barn data. This is barn data one, barn data two, okay? So they should put a zero. If I put that in barn three, if, if I'm in the right save here, I'm not. Not in the right thing. So, all right, there's that. Wait for this to save here. I got to figure out which one it is. I don't even think there's anything in that file. Could be wrong. Yeah, you can bring this right over. And then see. I don't remember what save I'm on. But anywho, you get the idea. Okay. So you could just literally Yeah, I can't do both. I got two screens. So you literally load your save in there. And then click one, open it, okay? You can do that while in game. It makes it great. I wish I could do that with mods. It'd be even better. But, okay. So let's get rid of the game real quick. Bring back this over. Oop. Okay, down here where it says building data. Building dat, whatever you want to call it. Let's go to, go pick one. I'm not going to install it. But I'll show you. So like right here, half built extension. Now you gotta make sure this ain't a saved game. Yeah, download the building data. Okay, we'll download this manual download. Slow. You know what? No, oh, back up. Back up here. Let me do a little help for we play here. If I can find it, do a little plug for we play. There it is. Boom. Now I gotta make sure. Oh, this is a save. Dang it. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to update the game, huh? Or update my thing. I forgot I did a save file because I wanted you guys to have something you can actually do. But anywho, um, I downloaded that one, right? Save that. This is pretty simple. If you just want the save file, you download this and drop it right in here. So it'd be whatever this save is, you just drop it in here and copy over one of these. That's how you do this right here. I know that's kind of jumped around a lot, but if you download, I've had people ask me, that's I got so many people asking questions, and I'm trying to nail them all at once, okay? So if you download my mod, and you want to install it, you would literally just take the file and drop it in your My Garage here in App Data, okay? Still App Data, we're not in the My Garage folder. So this is what My Garage folder looks like. Okay. Two different files. 
this is app data and this is your your steam okay there's two different ones you got to remember that get rid of that one so in app data anything to do with save files player logs if somebody asks you for a player log it's here save files is here okay you have to go in your save file to get to the barn data okay so now we open this trying to make this as clear as possible i'm not good at this stuff guys not good at how-to videos i've never really done it <clears throat> okay so building data right here you just drag it in and drop it and it'll put it right here okay that's how you install a building data now once you drag that in here you want to start your game so i have mine already open okay now wherever you got to make sure you don't have nothing built on the land okay so wherever that wherever they built that building is where it's going to show up in your game so if they built it here you want to get rid of your garage okay so if you don't know how to get rid of your garage if if you have both open you have two garages you want to go in here click that okay if you have the single car garage you want to walk over to this wall and it'll be on the little clipboard right here or the pegboard okay how you get rid of that okay and then you can spawn in the building i mean you can spawn it in on top of it. it's not gonna hurt you just gotta get rid of that garage okay and then if, but anyhow get sidetracked okay once you get rid of whatever's on your land go ahead and hit escape import building and it should appear as long as you have it in the right save file you it should appear <clears throat> so you want to make sure you're in the right save file so whatever save you're in and then your game you want to make sure you click that i mean you could add them to all of it okay so you could be like go right in here and drag it in drag it in same building data now a lot of other people don't talk about this neither so if you want to say you built this okay for instance and you want to put this on hexic mods okay same thing just export it okay click export right here export buildings and then go back to your file Back to your app data. Go to your save file. So it would say I'm on five. You would copy this, paste it, and you have your building data. You put that on Nexus mods, and somebody else can download it and put it on their game. Okay. It's not simple. It's just muscle memory. You got to keep doing it because if you don't keep doing it, you won't remember it. I struggle with that all the time. But yeah, that's barn saves, building data, mods, all in one. I hope I did a good job. If not, I'll try again another time. But for right now, this will help. Should help some people when they're struggling with the game. Yeah. Okay. I struggle all the time and I've been doing it. I got 2000 hours on this game. So. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one.